2022. I'm Dr. Duke Mage, and I'm here with Dr. Bada Patel. And we are going to be performing the first Duke cervical endoscopic laser rhizotomy. What does that mean? Well, it means we're doing a rhizotomy, <coughs> which is deadening the nerves that go to the joints called facet joints. Facet joints can get arthritis, inflammation, and when they do, they can become very painful. And people will have facet joint pain and stiffness in their neck. And it hurts most when you're twisting to the side called rotation or extension. So how do you fix that pain inside the joint, inside your neck? Well, an old, an old way of fixing it is called the rhizotomy. That's where you go in with a probe and you try to burn and destroy the pain nerve going to the joint. It's something Dr. Patel has been doing for a long time. Um, but <coughs> in some people, it doesn't really last very long. So we're doing what's called an endoscopic rhizotomy with a laser. It's a more advanced treatment, and we're going to be doing that today. All right, so Dr. Patel has placed the first needle at the lateral mass of C3, correct? We're going to be treating the left C3, 4, 4, 5 joints. You happy with that? Yeah. It's not at the waist. Still happy? Yeah, the lateral is the best. Mm, lateral view? All right, so you can see on the AP view, Monica, will you show them the tip of the needle we're talking about here? <laughs> yep, right there. Good, thank you. And let's go to a lateral view. So the nerve that is innervating the facet joint that transmits the pain signal to the brain is called the medial branch of the dorsal ramus. And every facet joint has two nerves. Are you happy with that? <coughs> Needs to be, it's a little orbit. We're about a degree and a half, two degrees off. That's better. So what we've done is we're making contact with the lateral mass, right where the nerve runs. Yeah. All right, so since this is the first time we're doing this procedure, both Dr. Patel and I, in terms of it being endoscopic, we're doing it together. We're pioneering it together. Ugh, this drape is horrible. Yeah, she has an allergy to iodine. Hopefully that does it. Shot. That's it right there. Good. So I'm placing the guide wire. I'm going to remove the spinal needle. Shot. That's it. So it's moved a little bit. Shot. It's literally just on the cusp of sliding off laterally, which we don't want. Shot. Shot. Again, we want to monitor the guide wire shot. And I'm trying to anchor the guide wire with one hand while I'm sliding the dilator down with the other. Shot. <coughs> There'll be some fascia right here, which I have to get through. Hopefully our dilator is thin enough. Shot. It's just going to separate the fibers of the fascia. Shot. <coughs> We're going to try to dock the tip of this dilator directly on the, the lateral mass. And it's a, a, a 
I would say a joint effort shot between Dr. Patel and myself because no pun intended, we are fixing a joint. Huh? Yeah, we're fixing a joint um, by taking the pain nerve away from it. So we're there. Um, I'm gonna, are you, you wanna get an AP? Sure. Watch your belly there. Yes, so we're gonna do a, a front back view next. I've got it. Our trajectory is a little lateral to medial. Looks good. Yeah, back to a lateral. Next, we're gonna bring down the tube that we're gonna do the surgery through. It's called the tubular retractor. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Luis. Don't lift it, whatever you do. You didn't lift it, right? Shot. <coughs> Feels good to me. Hold on, let me see. You got it? Yeah. Shot. Still happy with our location, Dr. Patel? Uh -huh. So now I'm gonna advance the tube over the dilator. Shot. Wait, don't push the neck. Shot. Yeah, I think the lateral to medial trajectory is very important. I'm not getting through the skin. Shot. I may have to make the skin incision. Oh, let's see. Am I through there? Can you open that up? Let me have a scissor. Our drape is not sticking well. And how do we prep this area well? So the hair is prepped well. Let's have a knife. Shot. 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 Can you see if I'm through the skin there? I am, right? Yes, yes. Shot. I think I'm caught up on the fascia. Okay. Can you give me a cigarette? Can you aim that light over here, please? Thank you. Shot. Right here. We're making slow progress, but we're getting there. Shot. And almost there. Shot. I tell you, can you give us some inline just when I'm pushing, her head's moving. She's gonna be tight, so she's gonna Shot. Yeah. All right, we're yeah, right. We're know. right where we need to be. Never mind. Just, yeah. just leave it. <coughs> Give me an AP view. What do you think, about out to medial? Yeah. Be a little more lateral. The uh, lateral view. It's interesting because the, as you push, the spine obviously buckles underneath because she's not immobilized with a head pin. Are you happy with the uh, positioning rostral caudal? Yeah? Huh? 
We're a little too caudal. You want to be a little south? Shot. Shot. All right, let's get another AP. What do you think? A little more lateral or what? Go a little lateral. Shot. That's perfect. All right. Yeah, you just go lateral. Do a lateral. I need the scope. Irrigation is on. You watch all those cables. Let's turn on the irrigation. Scope on, please. A lateral view. I need to see the scope view. Perfect. All right. Hmm? No. Mm -mm. I think everything looks good. A little bit of fat there. Uh, I need the laser pedal is here. Are you on 20? Laser on. Why is the view blurring? I'm not torquing it. Right? That looks like bone there, Bara. That's definitely bone. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Watch the fiber. Okay. Uh, so let's get a shot lateral. See where we are. Hey, uh, we need that on that screen over Looks there pretty good. Please, thank you. Whoa. We need the scope, please. Come on. Thank you. All right. Let's get a shot, Floro. Just bring me the floral panel closer, please, so we don't have to keep going back and forth. <sighs> what do you think, Bada? Huh? I mean, in terms of bony position, we're pretty good, right? What is that noise? Yeah, that's... All right, I can see that fine. Is that where we are right now, Sean? You're happy there? And if we go a little more lateral... Shot, caudal, and lateral. Shot. Shot. 
shot. So that's south shot. Don't worry about the water right now shot. And then if we go north, it's here. I mean, I'm right on the bone. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything in terms of, excuse me, your head, please. Shot. What do you think? Here's more lateral. Here's caudal. Shot. Stay focused, please. Shot. This is just being a little more lateral. I don't see a nerve anywhere. I think it's we got it. Shot. Down. Do you see any fibers? Shot. Do you want me to go more north? That's more lateral. All right, let's see. Why is it a little blurry? We're not doing anything with the scope, right? I'm not flexing it. Shot. Further south, further lateral. Need to get that this way. Shot? You're happy with this location? Yeah, we're going right off the edge there, so I don't see any, any more nerve that needs to be treated. I'm going to pull up a little bit. There's some muscle. You don't see anything, do you? North, south, lateral, medial. I think we're good, right? Take that. Stop off, please. Thank you. Let's irrigate. A little antibiotic. Where is it? Uh huh. All oh right. You didn't want to use betadine. She's allergic to iodine. Oh, forget it then. Yeah, so, and what about anything else? How about some Depomedrol or? All right. So we're done. I could try to go south. It's not a bad idea. Dilator? Yeah, why not? Let's try. Let's see what we can do. Huh? Yeah, if we could do it. Yeah. All right, let's see. Shot. Uh huh. I need the scope off, please. Shot. Thank you. I just don't know if I could make it. Shot. It's and like right uh, at the joint. Shot. Shot. I just don't know. From the next one? Shot? Yeah, we're right at the joint. I don't think I can get down there. I may be able to if I come out and do another fascial stab. So let's try that.
Shot. Let's get an AP, just see where we are. All right, so we've we've done one nerve. We need two more to two more to go. We're gonna try to see if we can get it done with one incision. We don't care about that right now. Let's just get this done. All right, so we need to be more lateral. Shot. All right, let's go uh, lateral view. So we need to be a little further south. Shot? It's not going to be enough, huh? Shot? Shot? Maybe? That's quite an angle, though. Give me an AP. The location looks good, right on the lateral mass, right? right? Question is, can I get there? Yeah. And that's not bad. It could be a little more lateral. Shot? All right, let's try that. Uh, you can stay there for just a moment, and then we'll get you to switch, because we are going to need another AP view. Shot. I think a little more lateral. Shot. Like right on the precipice. All right, let's do a lateral view. Ah, uh, the joys of endoscopic spine surgery. So we are aiming for the second nerve that goes to the C3-4 and C4-5 joints. You can actually see the arthritis in the joints there. Okay, so I went north too much. Shot. Shot. We need to be further south, huh? Here. Shot. Shot. Maybe that. So, I need to hear from you. Shot. That's good. Whoop. Let's see. Right here, shot. Let's see. Slipped a little bit. I'm going to try to get a little further south. Shot. Shot, shot. Come on. Shot. You're happy with that? Give me an AP. Right there, right on the lateral margin. All right. Yeah. I moved a little bit. Shot. Hold on. Sh give me a shot. All right. Lateral. It's kind of hard to keep it right where it needs to be. Get that out of there, please. Go ahead and place it. Lateral view. Shot. 
What? Endoscope. Endo, endo. Scope up, please. Yeah. Turn the irrigation on. Yes. All right. Who are you talking to? Who? All right. Let's just keep the talk to a minimum right now. Unless it's necessary, okay? Just let Dr. Patel and I do most of the talking. We need to focus and make sure we're doing this right. Ah. Let's get a... No, we need a, we need a AP view. Actually, give me a lateral view first. All right, so we're near the joint. Nope, shot. Shot. The lateral. I have AP view. Give me a coker. I got it. you take the shot please is that it perfect you like it or not could be a little more lateral shot you can move it out yeah move move it out lateral Move it out doesn't mean move the floor out. It means move the damn thing out of my face. Oh, you guys are making this harder than it needs to be. Move it out of my face so I can actually see and work. I still need, you know, we, we haven't, you've seen it. We have to go AP lateral, AP lateral, AP lateral. It's nonstop. Oh, move it out just means move it out of my face, okay? I'm trying to focus on what I'm doing, not tell, figure out what you need to do. Are you doing the lateral? Shot. 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 I need to twist this thing. The other way. Help me twist it. Help me twist the whole rig. There you go. There you go. Those may be the nerve fibers. Go the direction I'm trying to go. Yeah. And what do you think? Would those be the, those look like the nerve right there. That's pretty cool. No, nope, no, nope, I need to move it. No. Huh? I need to get this area right here. Shot. Hmm. Go more medial. Shot. Go more inferior. Shot. That's better. That may be the fibers too, right there. See them? See them right there? That's pretty cool. Shot. Could be a little bit more south. And I think that's it. Good. Scope out. All right, that's two down. Scope Turn the off scope off. I'm gonna take this out. Good job. One more to go. Dr. Patel, you wanna do the honors of placement? I would not use the same incision. I would come south and use a lower incision. 
I was struggling. You know, Bharat, I think if we make the incision over the joint, and then we can go a little north and a little south, you know what I mean? I say we bring uh, the dilator in down over the joint next time. And then you can move it up five millimeters or a centimeter and you can move it down. And that way we can get both nerves with one incision. But that was a struggle. So those little white things, folks, were the nerves and they were innervating the joint. Uh, nerves, as they get closer to their target, they spread out and they get skinny. So the big thick nerve cable kind of spreads out into smaller little cables as it gets closer to the final destination. I think you're off a little on orbit. You're doing, f yeah, five, right? Other way, your orbit is off the other way. Two degrees. Half a degree. Thank you. You want AP or what do you want? Huh? Shot? So probably two lateral, right? So the concept of rhizotomy is old. It's been around for a while. And um, it's just a matter of how you do the rhizotomy. It's really good right there. All right, so we're going to try this uh, again for the next set of nerves. Knife. Take the stylet out. Uh -huh. I'm going to place the guide wire. Dock it right where Dr. Patel believes the nerve is, based on his many years of experience and based on anatomy charts, of course. Shot. Good. Now we bring our dilator down over the guide wire. Uh, no. Thank you. No, you got to always take x-ray pictures because this, these things move. Shot. You may think you have it perfectly docked and then it moves. Shot. So that's why we got to keep taking pictures. Shot. We call it navigation. When you're, when you're navigating, when you're going somewhere, with something like this tube or the dilator, you're navigating, you're using reference points, and those reference points we use shot come from basically uh, the x-ray machine. We're looking at the pictures coming out of the x-ray machine. Is that ha are you happy with that? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, AP. Um, so we're, the x-ray machine can see the spine through all the soft tissue. So we use the actual x-ray pictures of the spine. We're using points on the spine to navigate with, but that's good, thank you. But we use the x-ray machine to find those points because we can't see through her neck. So we use that what's called x-ray navigation or fluoro navigation, all right? And so far we're happy with where we are. It's like exactly where we want to be, okay? Now we don't, we can't see the little nerves with our eyes on the x-ray. We have to use the endoscope to see them. And that's what makes this procedure we believe to be more effective is the actual use of the endoscope shot to um, go to that area where the nerve is supposed to be and, and actually look and see, can we find it? 
shot. So I'm bringing the tube down over the endoscope. That's what you're seeing in the x-ray view shot. Now we've done endoscopic rhizotomies before in the lower back. This is our first cervical and our patient knows that. And she was willing to let us do the procedure knowing that it was the first endoscopic rhizotomy. We've done many rhizotomies, just this is the first endoscopic shot. So Dr. Patel and I, uh, this, this procedure crosses across both of our specialties, our expertise. His in uh, rhizotomy procedures and mine in endoscopic procedures. So we're doing a hybrid procedure shot. Now I can't say that a cervical shot endoscopic rhizotomy, this is the first time it's ever been done because I'm not aware of anyone doing it in the literature shot, but um, are you aware of anyone doing endoscopic cervical rhizotomies? So this could very well be the first time it's being done. Though if you ask me, I would say chances are the Korean, South Koreans have done it before because they do everything. I need an x-ray. Is that it, Flynn? All right, looks good. Let's go back to the lateral, please. <coughs> so this could be the first time it's being done in the States. Maybe not. Maybe somebody else has done it. We don't know. But uh, it's our first time at Duke Spine doing the endoscopic rhizotomy. Shot. And how is our patient doing, doctor? Okay, so far so good. Now our endoscopic tube is docked on the facet right where we want it to be. And I'm gonna stabilize the tube because that's how we navigate to this spot. Can you uh, help me hold the camera? Let's advance this fiber and turn on the irrigation. Perfect, and let's go down. And if you can just help me stabilize the scope, the camera, that looks like the nerve right there. So we're on. Where's my pedal? That looks like the, the nerve itself right there. That's pretty damn cool. Hold on a second. <sighs> Just you hold it there for a second. I got to see if I can better visualize that nerve. All right, I feel like it's really hard to tell. Let's do a, hold on, let's do a lateral. That looks good. We're in the right spot. I need to rotate things. I need you to help me with that. Let me know. More. Uh, down. I'll go up and down and you help me do the rotation. Why am I, why am I having a hard time seeing? You got to go where I tell you to go. Uh, does that make sense? Yes, sir. Shot. So a little lateral. I want to be a little more medial. All right. Shot. Should be good right in there, right, Patel? Unfortunately, we're reversed on the camera view. Those are fibers right there of the nerve. Turn. See, see, you feel me turning you? That means you turn. You feel me turning? You turn, you turn, you go up, you go down. I control your hand. You just augment my movement. Shot. Don't resist my movements. Augment them. 
So let's go more medial. These are all fibers here. You can see the little web. South is there, laterals there, medials there. Good job, Luis. North a little bit, medial. South, yeah, turn, good. Right here. I spent a lot of time floating over reefs, snorkeling. And in a way, this is kind of like doing that, you know? Shot. We're at the bottom there, and then as we go up, uh, it's got to be muscle. Just in case. Turn, turn. You got to oh turn more. Yeah, I want to turn more. And come back a little bit. Shot. That's pretty good positioning, right? I think that's good. Could that be it right there? See it? It looks like it's coming out the foramen, huh? Forming a web. There we go. That's it. That's pretty badass. I like it. All done. Saw that? That was pretty amazing. That was the nerve. All right. Hopefully this yeah, does the trick. Ready. We're done. Thank you. Let's get some. Part of me? Yeah, you can take it out. You can break the scope down, I'll hold pressure. So we're just gonna put a little pressure. The surgery was done with two little cuts that each one is about four millimeters. And we didn't have to do an open, big open surgery. We've lost about five mils of blood. And the nice thing is there's really nothing back here besides skin, fascia, muscle. There's no, you know, important arteries or veins back here. Um, the nerve roots are further in the front of the spine, so we're not even near the nerve roots. What'd you think, Bharat? What'd you think? I mean, you saw how big that nerve was. Yeah, it was huge. And we were right on the lateral margin of the facet lateral mass where it wraps around and you could see that thing coming out like right here coming out from the deep where the nerve roots are where the foramen is all right hopefully that does it congratulations all right any questions from the audience no questions just positive comments all right well we'll see tomorrow how she does Oh, by the way, the first patient we did, the DLDR two-level cervical, she already went home. Her, her, she had weakness in her right arm before surgery. Now it's all gone, except for her finger extensions at T1. But everything else has improved to normal strength, and her pain in her arm is gone. So she was very happy. EBL 5 mil, no complications. This was a, a Duke endoscopic. Um, cervical, laser, rhizotomy, left, everyone agree, left, C4556, five, five, good job, all right, type up your questions for me, Dr. Patel and I did this surgery together, it's the first one done at, at Duke Spine, endoscopically, 
So it took our teamwork to make the dream work. All right, hopefully uh, my good friend, Dr. Benatti is watching so he can learn how to do this. <laughs> Tongue in cheek. Dr. Ari Dickmajan here at Duke Spine Institute. It's Groundhog Day, I believe, right? February 2nd, so 2 2 2022. And I'm here with one of my patients who traveled from where did you come from? Tennessee. Tennessee. And why would you travel from Tennessee to Florida to Duke Spine Institute? I have been miserable for months, and I found you and did a consult with you and knew this is where I needed to come for good treatment and relief. And what kind of problem were you having that brought you to Duke Spine Institute? Severe lower back pain, which turned into sciatica, and it was down my left leg constantly. I slept about two, three hours a night at most, and I could not sit for more than five minutes, and I had to be standing up. And did you try some other treatments in Tennessee or elsewhere? I did. I, you know, when this whole thing started and it was a bad flare, I thought I'll be able to work through this chiropractic physical therapy, two spinal injections, massage therapy. And how did you know those treatments did not work for you? I had no relief um, at all. My, my sleeping continued to get worse and my, my pain was never better. And do you have relief now? Absolutely. I, I would say I have 95% relief. Awesome. And, uh, it, it's amazing. I, after surgery yesterday, I put on a back brace. I walked out of here. I sat down yesterday for probably over an hour and had lunch. Last night, um, in bed, I had zero pain. It's, it's a miracle. Well, we're very happy that you're doing so well. And your surgery was a great one because we um, fixed two discs. You had herniated disc at L45, L5S1. And you can see in this footage right here that we grabbed the herniation out. And it was one of the herniations was really big and it was really gratifying to get it out because it was resting on your sciatic nerve. Once we took it out, I think your sciatic nerve probably uh, felt a sigh of relief. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and the surgery went very well. The laser debridement of the annulus went well, and I feel like your pain's gonna be gone. It's not gonna come back. I would agree. All right, very absolutely. good. Well, is there anything else you wanna tell uh, your viewers? Folks, if, if you're suffering and you're not getting relief from from those uh, non-invasive therapies, then come see Dr. Duke and have him look at your MRI and, and give a diagnosis. And uh, if you need to have surgery, you come down here. He will take good care of you and so will his team. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Dr. Ari Duke Majin. It's January 26, 2022, and I'm here with one of my patients who you underwent the Duke laser disc repair on your lower back for some herniated discs about a week ago. Yes. How are you feeling today? Unbelievable. For almost three years, I had lower back pain, and um, it just, you know, it just nags at you, wears you out. And then I came here. And you were the first one. I went to two other surgeons and neither one of them picked up what was wrong with me, even though I had the MRI. And you came in and you told me exactly what was going on and you performed the laser surgery and I'm like a different person yeah. a week later. Yeah, you're a different person the next day, right? The day oh, after oh, you had yeah. no pain, remember? No, I, I, absolutely. Yeah. So that pain's gone for the rest of your life. How does that make you feel? New life. Good. And, you know, a long time ago, I remember when people did something great, they, you said, what are you going to do now? They said, I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> you already went, I can see. No, my <laughs> wife's a big <laughs> Disneyland fan. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> All right. So, sounds like we helped you with your back pain, and it sounds like you're very satisfied. Oh, yeah. I'm recommending a, a friend of mine in Connecticut to come here. You have to come here. If, if you go anywhere else, I really think you're going to be wasting your time. So this guy just looks at you and he can tell what, what needs to be done. He's just, he's a fantastic talent. 
and I'm very grateful that uh, I came here. Oh, well, we're grateful you did too, because it's going to change your life for the for the better. Congratulations. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome. Good morning, I'm Dr. Duke Majan. I'm here with one of my patients, and you traveled to Duke Spine Institute here in Florida from where? Uh, New York, Poughkeepsie, New York. Awesome. And why did you come from New York to Duke Spine here in Florida? Because uh, I heard that this was the best place for me to go. What kind of problems were you having that you needed to come here? I had lower back problems and numbness in my leg, which was my left leg. This was the best place for me to come. Okay. So you had back pain, sciatica down your left leg, pain shooting down the left leg. Yes. And that was just yesterday, right? When you, you yes, had that. that's correct. Yep. And, and what, do you still have your back pain today? No more back pain. <laughs> it's gone. Gone. And is that because we have you doped up on powerful painkillers? Nope. None no, whatsoever. it isn't. Did anybody in New York offer you spine surgery to fix your back? Yep. Yes, they did. Yeah. And they wanted to fuse it. Yeah. And you've had surgery before. You had a microdiscectomy, um, and that helped you for a little while. Yes. But the symptoms came back. Came back. Yeah. All right. Well, they're not going to come back this time. So what do we do to make your pain go away? You fix my back. You get oh. arthroscopic. That's right. Arthroscopic spine surgery called the Duke Laser District there. So leg pain's gone. Back pain's gone. Everything is gone. You're happy. You did, oh, I'm very happy. You're smiling. Yeah. I tell you. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you so much. We did it all through a seven millimeter incision, just that big. And you can actually watch that video right here in animation to see what it looks like to do the Duke laser disc repair. A Band-Aid sized skin incision is made. A small tube is inserted without damaging the bone or soft tissues. The laser removes the herniation and debrides the annular tear. The annular tear heals on its own. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Duke Majin, and we're going to talk for a moment about neck pain, chronic neck pain, and what causes it. There are really two main causes of chronic neck pain, and about 98% of people with chronic neck pain will fit into one or the other of these causes. So let's take a look at the spine, which happens to be the source of 98% of neck pain. There are really two joints in the neck uh, within the spine that can cause pain. The first one is known as the disc, and that's a joint located between the big bones in the front of the spine. Never mind the metal plate for right now, but let me use a larger spine model to help you understand what I'm talking about. The, the disc is really a cushion joint between the bones and the spine. These bones are called vertebral bodies or vertebrae. Now the vertebrae have a front and middle part and they have a back part. The vertebral body is the front part and the disc is a cushion between the front bones and the disc itself can accept loads like lifting heavy things or bouncing up and down and it's like a cushion so the bones don't smack into each other. Now behind the disc is another type of joint and that's called the facet joint. You see that little crack right there? Facet joints are another cause of neck pain. Disc pain from a herniated disc accounts for about 80% of neck pain. Facet joints account for the other 20%. So virtually 100% of neck pain comes from the disc or the facet joints or a combination of both. So what do we do today? Well, we had a patient who we believe her pain is coming from the facet joints. So if you look at the top of the spine here, you have the first bone called C1. The second is C2. The next one is three, four, five, six, and there's a seventh bone down below. Now the facet joints in this patient that we believed were painful was the number three, four, and four, five. So to deaden the arthritis pain on the left side at the three, four, and four, five facet joints, we needed to deaden the the actual nerve that comes out of the foramen and goes backwards and innervates those joints. So to do that, we wanted to do what's called a rhizotomy, where we go in and basically cut that nerve right at the edge of the bone. So if you look at the spine, we were putting our needle and our tube right about there. This is called a lateral mass, 
and we are at the left side at the edge of the lateral mass, right where it falls off and goes forward, okay, this being the front of the spine. So we docked our tube, we brought our endoscope in, and I looked around and I actually found, you could see it in this video right here, that there is a nerve that wraps around here and goes to the joint, and it looks like it comes out and makes a web. And we use the laser to cut the branches of that nerve. By doing that, we should get rid of the pain in the facet joint. So that's what we did today. We treated facet joint pain by cutting the little nerves that go to those joints in three spots. This is called an endoscopic cervical rhizotomy, and it's done using a laser. We, this, this is the first time we've done it at the Duke Spine Institute. We do a lot of needle rhizotomies, but we've never done a cervical endoscopic rhizotomy. We've done the endoscopic rhizotomies in the lower back, but this is our first cervical, and I think it went really well. You can see in the surgery, the patient had two tiny little incisions in the back of her neck on the left side, and that's how we got the endoscope down, so we could find those two nerves, those three nerves, I should say, and cut them. And again, this was a C3-4, C4-5, left endoscopic rhizotomy. I hope you enjoyed it, and we expect to have more of these surgeries in the future. That's it for today, and we'll see you in about a week and a half. Thank